The process of planning, managing, and maintaining control over software projects is called software project management. It is the correct method for organizing and directing software development initiatives. It entails applying the ideas and practices of project management to the process of planning and carrying out software development initiatives. The delivery of software that satisfies the objectives of the user on time and within the allotted budget while maintaining an acceptable level of quality is the objective of software project management. Now, before we start with our session, if you like this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell, never to miss an update from the Invensys Learning Channel. Also, if you're looking for an online training certification in PMP, check out the link given in the description box below. So, without any further ado, let's get started with our video. Need for Software Project Management Software is something you can't touch. Software development is a new business field, only a few have built software products. Most software products are made to meet the needs of their clients. The most important thing is that basic technology changes and improves so quickly, and often that experience with one product might not work for another. Business and environmental restrictions like these make software development riskier, so managing software projects is important. A business must provide quality products, keep costs within the client's budget, and finish projects on time. So, for software project management to work, user needs and budget and time constraints must be considered. Software project management consists of several different types of management. The first is conflict management. Managing conflict is one in which the bad aspects of the conflict are reduced while the positive aspects are increased. In a business or organizational context, conflict management aims to enhance learning and group results, including efficacy or performance. The outcomes of collective efforts can be improved by effective conflict management. The second is risk management. Analysis and identification of risks are the first steps in risk management. The next step is the coordinated and cost-effective application of resources in order to limit, operate, and control the probability or influence of unfavorable occurrences or to maximize the realization of opportunities. The third is requirement management. The process of evaluating, prioritizing, tracking, and documenting requirements, as well as managing modification and communicating with relevant parties, is known as requirements management. During the course of a project, it is an ongoing process. The fourth is change management. Change management refers to the application of a systematic strategy to the process of dealing with the modification or evolution of an organization's objectives, procedures, or technologies. The goal of change management is to implement ways to bring about change, maintain control over change, and assist individuals in becoming accustomed to change. The fifth is software configuration management. The larger, more interdisciplinary field of configuration management includes software configuration management as one of its subfields. Software configuration management refers to the practice of regulating and tracking modifications made to software. Revision control and the establishment of baselines are both components of software configuration management. The sixth is release management. Release management is the process of organizing, regulating, and coordinating the activities involved in the building and releasing of software. Release management is the process by which an organization assures that it will deliver new and improved services to its customers while also preserving the integrity of the services that are already in place. Aspects of Software Project Management The list of focus areas it can tackle and the broad upsides of the software project management are Planning The software project manager is responsible for creating a blueprint for the entire project. The project plan will detail the procedures for executing the project, including its scope, resources, schedules, techniques, strategy, communication, testing, and maintenance. In this regard, SPM is of significant assistance. The planning stage of a project entails establishing the project's goals and objectives, determining the project's activities, estimating the resources needed, developing a project timeline, and determining project milestones. The next is leading. A software project manager is responsible for assembling and supervising a group of contributors, engineers, strategists, programmers, designers, and data scientists. Being in charge of a group calls for great communication, interpersonal, and leadership skills, among other traits. One can only have any chance of success in this endeavor if they adhere to the fundamental principles of SPM. The next is execution. If the person in charge of software projects is familiar with SPM, and agile approaches, then they will be able to ensure that each stage of the project is successfully finished using SPM. This is another situation in which SPM comes to the rescue. This process includes generating status reports, 
checking how well teams are functioning to monitor their performance, and measuring how far along they are. The next is time management. Maintaining adherence to a schedule is necessary for completing deliverables. This is especially challenging when it comes to the management of software projects because it is impossible to resist making alterations to the original project charter as time passes. Software project managers should be experts in risk management and emergency readiness to guarantee progress in the face of changes or roadblocks. One of the primary tenets of the strategic project management, SPM, methodology is risk management and mitigation. The next is budget. It is the responsibility of software project managers, just as it is the responsibility of conventional project managers, to create a budget for the project and stick to it as closely as is practically possible. Controlling spending and reassigning funds is necessary. Therefore, we learn how to successfully handle the financial component of projects through SPM to prevent coming up against a financial bind later on in the course of the project. The next is maintenance. Continuous product testing is emphasized in software project management to facilitate the early detection and correction of errors, the adaptation of the final product to the customer's requirements, and the maintenance of the project's forward momentum. The software project manager is responsible for ensuring that the product is rigorously tested, thoroughly examined, and adjusted as necessary. A more argument in favor of SPM. Consequences of software project management. If a software project manager doesn't have the right skills or knowledge, it can cause a lot of problems. Software project management has some problems, such as losing resources, making it hard to plan, worrying about data security, and causing problems between developers, engineers, and other stakeholders. Also, if work is outsourced or more people are hired to finish the project, the company may have to pay a lot of money. The first consequence is the high expenses. If one engages in software project management techniques, it is a good idea to consider spending money on different project management tools, software, and services. The implementation of these efforts may require a significant financial investment as well as a lot of time. Because your team will also use them, they may require training. Depending on the situation specifics, it may be necessary to seek the assistance of subject matter experts or specialists when working on a project. It is common for stakeholders to exert pressure on adding features not initially conceived of. All of these elements can push up the cost of a project quickly. The second effect is that complexity will increase. Software project management is a complicated and multi-step procedure. Regrettably, some professionals might tend to make everything more complicated than it needs to be, which can lead to confusion among teams and delays in project completion. They could also become inflexible and overly detailed in their ideas, making the working environment more challenging. In general, projects with a wider scope are more challenging to finish. This is especially true when there is not a dedicated staff that is fully devoted to the project. As a result, members of cross-functional teams can fall far behind in their day-to-day -day work, which contributes to the total complexity of the project that is currently being worked on. The third effect is that overhead in communication. When the personnel for software project management is hired, the company receives recruits. This ensures a continuous flow of communication, which may or may not be compatible with an organization's culture. As a consequence of this, it is strongly suggested that you keep your crew as small as is practically possible. When a team is large enough, the overhead associated with communication tends to increase. Therefore, when working with a large group of people on a project, it is of the utmost importance to find software project managers who can communicate effectively with a wide range of individuals. The fourth effect is the lack of originality. Software project managers can offer very little room, if any, for creative expression. Either excessive focus is placed on management procedures, or strict timelines are imposed on employees by team leaders, demanding staff to write and operate code while adhering to stringent criteria. This can impede creative thought and innovation, which could benefit the enterprise. When it comes to managing software projects, it is essential to have a good understanding of when to encourage creativity and when to keep to the project plan. If a business does not have staff dedicated to software project management, it may be able to produce and ship code more quickly. On the other hand, hiring a certified specialist to manage these areas can open up new doors and help the organization reach its objectives more swiftly and comprehensively. I would like to conclude this video by saying, in conclusion, software engineering project management is vital to the successful delivery of software products. The approach to project management assures that software development is finished on schedule, within budget, and to the required quality standards. The steps of the software development lifecycle are planning, requirements collecting, design, implementation, testing, and deployment. 
Successful project management requires the selection of an appropriate development technique, the allocation of enough resources, the management of risks, effective communication, and the management of stakeholders. Agile techniques, such as Scrum and Kanban, are favored for software development projects because of their adaptability and ability to accommodate changing requirements. Waterfall approach is also commonly utilized in software development projects, especially for enterprise-scale endeavors. Nonetheless, the choice of techniques should be based on the needs, scope, and restrictions of the project. In addition to selecting the proper development technique, the project manager must ensure that the project team have the required skills and resources to successfully complete the project. For effective project management, communication and collaboration among team members, stakeholders, and customers are necessary. With this, we have come to an end of this video, I hope it was helpful. Comment your thoughts in the section below. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell, never to miss an update from the Invensys Learning Channel. Also, if this has spiked your interest and you want to learn more about project management and its practices, check out Project Management Certification Training by Invensys Learning. We at Invensys Learning, provide interactive instructor-led certification training by trainers with rich domain experience and expertise. We also provide mock tests to make you confident while appearing for the certification exams, access to case studies prepared by the industry experts and personalized LMS with lifetime access that contain course resources. Thank you. Have a nice day.